It's food. It's food. It's food. Four thought. 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 What's going on, guys? Back with another one. Food for thought. We in the building. Well, well, we in the car. As I was in prayer, um, God asked me a question. He was like, what do you think of me? And I was like, you want to know what I think of you? I mean, does it even matter what I think of you? And when he said that, um, I started just kind of freestyling. And he was like, talk to the people and let them know how you feel about me. So here we are. And I'm just going to be transparent. What does God mean to me? <sighs> He's my protector. He's my healer. <sighs> He's my confidant. Anytime I need to vent about something or I just need someone to talk to that will be understanding, that will not only listen, but give me that feedback that provides that comfort, that that um that peace of mind for my soul um he's like um waters from a spring for my thirst he is the very food that i need to seal my hunger he's the pillow that i lay on when i weep at night from all the hurt and the pain that people have caused me in this lifetime, he's my shelter. I hide beneath his wings when I'm afraid. But then he pushes me out and say, have courage, the courage of a lion. Be as bold as a lion. Um, he's my truth. He'll never lie to me, so I know that he'll, he'll always keep it real. He's loyal. Even when I say, God, please leave me alone, you know, choose somebody else. You got the wrong one. He's right there saying, no, baby girl, I love you. And he just holds me. He hugs on me and let me know that everything's okay. I remember when I first came to Christ, um, as I would be in my devotion, devotional time, I would always get images of God and I just dancing together. And it will also be images of me sitting on his lap. And he would just, you know, hold me like a little girl sitting on her father's lap. And it was amazing. I was like, this is what I missed out on in my childhood. But it was like he was giving me all those those missing pieces that I never got to experience. I experienced it with him. I'm still experiencing with him. I still remember the first time that we went on a date. He was like, get dressed up for me. I'm like, man, come on, God. Like, man, this is so corny. And he was like, I'm, I'm serious. Pull out your best outfit. You know, give me what you got, you know. And he, he was like, we're going out. I was just like, I don't have any fun. So where we going? Lo and behold, and I end up getting the first outfit that he ever picked out for me. I never would have put it together myself, but he, he did his thing on that one. First, I'm going to speak about the importance of honing a personal relationship with God. When you're in a relationship with anyone, any being, you know, it takes two. So even with our relationship with God, just like you will reach out for that boyfriend, that girlfriend, that your child, your mom, your dad, your friends, it's all honing a relationship. You have to put in work. You have to do your part. The same thing with God. You have to take time to, you know, devotional time, prayer time to interact in dialogue with him. Just ask some simple questions. I asked some questions. I'm like, yo, God, why did you make that ugly bug? And we went for a walk around the neighborhood and he was just showing me all the trees, you know, all the animals, all the bugs. And it was a beautiful thing. It really made me look at nature in a whole different aspect. When you engage in conversation like that and, and you just dig deeper and want to know God, just in the most simple way, 
that can lead to him, you know, engaging in conversation, you all spending time. And then you're just like, oh, my God, like, I love him. Like, he really touches my heart. If you don't have a relationship with God, you are really missing out. Man, that fool look good in the mud, man. That ain't that fool look good in the mud. Lord, Lord God, I thank you for this food, this fried chicken, this mac and cheese, these greens that you putting in my belly, Lord God. I just can't wait to devour your holy word. Now that's food for thought.